show you how to do that and or if you want to experiment, I have extras because there's a minimum order. So then after we got all of this working, of course we jumped right into the radios. So turn it on, it says open RTX. And if you look up here in the corner, it says M17. Okay. Um, fully functional. Which HD is that? This is a uh, TTY and the specific model is MP3. 3080 or 3090? I don't remember. That's a 3090. Or maybe this is a 3090. And this is a uh, 380. Okay? You reminded me. And so uh, these radios don't particularly do that wide enough audio. So if you want to use these with M17, there's some hardware mods you have to do to the inside to slightly increase the bandwidth of the audio so that that works. Uh, that was our next phase. So we actually got into a radio. Uh, also, how many of you are familiar with like MobiLink? Okay. Uh, they have the new version 4, which will do M17. And so this basically plugs into your radio and then you can talk Bluetooth to this module and then transmit that way. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new Toy radios. Any of you seen one of these? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> this is a a, 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 a Liligo is the name of the company. It's a TWR plus uh, little transmitter. They come in uh, 240 and and uh, or uh, a two meter and uh, 440. And it's really based on this little module that you see up here at the top, which is an SA868. Okay, uh, uses a LiPo or a lithium ion battery in the back and uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Uh, it's actually programmable because it's a processor, so there are pinouts if you want to teach it to control something. Uh, the latest version of this, the one in here, has um, uh, GPS, so this will do APRS, but it also does M17. Yes. With the battery and that uh, rubber ducky, what is the range of that? Two it's blocks? 200 milliwatts. So it's like two blocks? It's pretty short. Yes. But it's enough to get you to a hot spot to get you, you know, around the world if you want to go from that way, so inside the house. And we do have 3D printed cases for these things so that you're not actually handling the electronics. You actually have a nice case. Uh, but we've gotten to there, and the last project, this is a new one, and this is the project I've been working on as of late. This is the display for what we're referring to as Open HT, which is a completely amateur radio design handy top. Hmm. So touch screen, uh, uh, RF module fits on the back, I currently don't have one because I gave it away, but you can see where it plugs in. Uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, full five watts. Um, very similar, for those of you, RF Finder, if you're familiar with the radio that's both uh, uh, HF, UHF, and a cell phone. Yeah. It's expensive, uh, it's not. Hmm? That's ex the RF Finder is really expensive. Yeah, like a thousand dollars for yeah. like handy top. Yeah, it really is really expensive. Uh, this is everything but that cellular. This will have all those features. You can just download the latest repeater list over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth into this guy and then use it to uh, do it. Uh, I'm working our work on the HF side of this board. This is the interface side. I don't have this one programmed up yet, but it's up here for you to look at. And if you imagine this in a case very similar to this, then you have an idea what that would look like with an antenna on it. Uh, but the OpenHT project, again, is all 
amateur radio design, all open source. Uh, schematics are freely available. Parts lists are available down to the point of there are build files you can send to board manufacturers and they will send you back a working part. So then all you have to do is flash the programming on it and you're working. 